Hey everyone, it's Gus from Arduino My Life Up, and today I will be going through on how to set up the Arduino Serial Monitor so you're able to debug your program running on the Arduino. This is pretty simple, but it can be a bit confusing at first, especially if you're new to programming and the Arduino. I will build a simple circuit to demonstrate how you can receive and send commands over the serial monitor. You will only need a couple of pieces of equipment for this project, and they are the Arduino Uno, a 100 ohm resistor, one red LED, a breadboard, and breadboard wire. The circuit that we'll be building for this is super simple and will consist of an LED which we'll be able to control from a serial monitor. This is purely just there to show you both sending and receiving data from a serial monitor. To build the circuit, simply connect the positive lead of the LED up to pin 2. Next hook up a 100 ohm resistor from a negative lead on the LED to the ground pin on the Arduino. And that's all to it. The code we will be using is very simple and its purpose is to just show you the basics of how you can use a serial monitor to view and send data. I will explain the code and how you can use certain commands in your next project to debug or interact with the Arduino. To begin, we initialize an integer variable for the LED. This is the pin number leading to the LED. Next, we initialize an integer variable called count. In the setup function, we set the red LED to act as an output so we can turn it on and off. We then call serial.begin with the value 9600. The value we're setting is known as the bits per second rate or also known as the board rate. This can be set to quite a few different rates but we'll keep it at 9600 as this seems to be the default and will work fine with most setups. It is very important to call this, otherwise you won't be able to communicate with the Arduino. Next we wait for the serial interface to initialize and connect to the computer. We then call a function called serial.println. This function allows us to print a line to the Arduino serial monitor. You will notice this will print text, then start on a new line for the next output. Lastly, we have the loop. This will continually loop through until either a new program is uploaded or the Arduino is switched off. To begin, we have an if statement checking to see if there is data waiting in the serial receive buffer. In simple terms, we're simply checking to see if data has been sent to the Arduino. If there is data, we enter the if statement. Next, we create a variable called ch and call serial.read, which will get us the data currently waiting in the serial buffer. It's important to know serial.read will only get us the first byte of the data, but that's all we need for this example. If it is either y or n, we then enter the relevant if statement. In here, you will notice we change the output of the LED pin to high we then print out a series of statements. There are two things that you should notice here. Serial.println will print the data and go to a new line, whilst serial.print will print the data but stay on the same line when finished outputting. You'll also notice that you can print values that are stored in variables. This allows you to be able to debug values and find if there are any issues with your data processing code. Lastly, I delay by a second and add 1 to count. This is just showing you an example of adding data to a variable, then printing it via the serial output. Once you're done, you should be able to deploy the code onto the Arduino. Next, I will show you how to connect, receive and send data to the Arduino. Now that the code has been uploaded to the Arduino, we'll need to open up the Arduino Serial Monitor. This is pretty easy to do. There are also a few options that I'll need to explain that are within the Serial Monitor window. To open up the Serial Monitor, go to Tools and then select the Serial Monitor. Alternatively, Control shift m will bring up the same window. Make sure you are hooked up to the Arduino, otherwise the window won't pop up. At the top of the screen, there should be an input area. This is where you can type and send text to the Arduino. To send text, you just simply press the Send button. Below is the output window, all the data that is sent to the monitor will be displayed here. Using the example code before, you'll be able to see the text that is sent in the serial.print and serial.println functions. At the bottom we have three different options, the first is pretty self-explanatory. Auto scroll will disable and enable the automatic scrolling of the output box. 
Second we have the line ending option. You can set the monitor to automatically append a line ending after the text you send to the Arduino. Thirdly we have the board rate that I mentioned earlier. Make sure this matches to what you have set in the code. If it is different, then the output text will appear as gibberish. If you're receiving gibberish, then this is a likely cause of this. This should cover all the basics to understanding the serial monitor. There are a few more things you can learn about such as using strings via the serial interface and more. But this is probably all you need to know for now. I hope you now understand how to use the serial monitor correctly and will help you in future projects. If I've missed anything or you have feedback or there's anything else you'd like to say, feel free to leave a comment below or over at arduinomylifeup.com. Until next time, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out these 21 Arduino projects that anyone can do. If you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Arduino projects and much more, then please subscribe.